Hello Chocks and Chocettes, and I'm number between Chocolate Bird here for another video review. This time we have the McVitie's Digestives Lemon Drizzle Flavour Biscuits, or Chocolate Digestives. <laughs> yes, in a sort of what I call the Great British Flavour Range or whatever, it's um, see it's like this British flag here behind the scenes and it says Team GB now, I'm not sure if it's always said that, but uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to learn to play strawberry cheesecake, bake or tart, I think they did, they did um, marmalade on toast, um, yeah. Very sort of, I think it was a cherry bagel actually, something like that, but either way, um, same difference. Yeah, so there's quite a few of them, this is the lemon drizzle version. So very excited about this one, um, just basically, we've done them over time, over the past year and a half maybe, I think, maybe a couple of years, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, these are the latest ones, this, this one and the strawberry cheesecake, just reviewed that one. Um, so, yeah, can't really, uh, yeah, <laughs> a bit hard to, a bit open here, so yeah, difficult to show you. <laughs> yeah, just reviewed these. Hmm. Strawberry cheesecake, there we go, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll give these ones a go as well. So very similar packaging, it's just basically yellow instead of the red on that one. Um, yeah, 243 grams, I assume it's exactly the same as what the other one was. Uh, yes it is, of course it is, yeah, so it's typical 15 biscuits per pack as well. Um, just say, just the nutrition information. Typical number of biscuits per pack, 15. And they've got the calories as well, Two, uh, 494 calories, 400 grams, 23.2 grams of fat, 12 of which are saturates. Per biscuit, 80, gra 80 calories, uh, 3.8 grams of fat, 2 of which are saturates. So is that the same as the strawberry cheesecake ones? Make a mess of those. Tip them all out. Slightly different, so the flavouring obviously is uh, slightly different. There's 81 calories in the strawberry cheesecake one, um, but the fat's the same. The per hundred grams, uh, that's per biscuit, but the per hundred grams is the same, so, <laughs> calorie-wise, I'm not sure, a bit strange that one, I don't know how it, you think, you think the, the calorie difference would be, would be more a disparity or whatever, um, in the hundred grams, not the per biscuit, but there we go, so, yeah, I'm not sure, it's a bit strange. And hopefully you can see there, per hundred grams of per biscuit, 80, 81 calories and 494 calories, 494 calories per hundred grams, but 80 calories. I'm not sure how that happens, that seems a bit odd. Because <laughs> each biscuit is what? Uh, 16.3 grams, yeah, so. Hmm. So you want to say you would have thought that <laughs> that one calorie difference would have exaggerated, but maybe it just rounded this up in a funny way. Not too sure. Probably, probably makes sense somehow. Um, but yeah, alright, yeah, interesting. Um, got this sort of super vegetarian symbol there. Door in a cool, dry place. Once over, so an airtight container. Artificial colours or flavours, no hydrogenated fish below. And it's got there the Queen approved symbol as well. Yeah, by appointment um, to Her Majesty the Queen, Biscuit Manufacturers, United Biscuits UK Limited. Yeah, please. Right, back after a bit of a break because basically all sorts of road work started going on outside. <laughs> I had to stop because it was just too noisy. So apologies for some break up and maybe some inconsistency, but hopefully, um, yeah, fingers crossed, uh, you won't notice that much of a difference. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll briefly go over then the gist of it is. Um, yeah, I think the sort of the calories were pretty much the same. Uh, nutrition, nutritional information was pretty much the same as the uh, strawberry cheesecake one, but there's one calorie difference in a biscuit, whereas per 100 grams it was the same. It's a bit of an odd one. Uh, super vegetarians, the queen approves. Yes, um, uh, no hydrogenated fat. Fresh polo rather. Uh, Stone cool dry place, things like this. No artificial colors or flavors. 243 gram pack, 15 biscuits per pack roughly, it should be. Once to free balance.com. Yeah, it does have palm oil in there, you can see there, palm oil. There we go. And some complaints or whatever, and get in touch type shenanigans going on there. Yeah, it's a quite interesting one. Um, yeah, as I say, what's the official description? I don't think I mentioned that, but we'll, we'll mention it. Um, so it will say it's a um, lemon drizzle flavour biscuit, which it says there, if you see. Yeah, lemon drizzle flavour wheat meal biscuits. Covered in milk chocolate, but it's the milk chocolate. I know this from all the other ones I've done. It's the milk chocolate that's flavoured, which makes more sense as you can imagine. Um, so it should be lemon drizzle, well, wheat wheat meal biscuits, or whatever it is, covered in lemon drizzle flavoured milk chocolate is what the description should say. So I don't know how they can get away with being that inaccurate, really. Um, flour forty percent, milk chocolate twenty eight percent. There we go. Natural lemon flavouring. It says there with other natural flavourings. Mm. Okay, mm. salt as well. <laughs> Right, well, I think we should, um, yeah, give them an open. That's it. Let's give them an open.
Right, can we get these McVitie's Digestives Lemon Drizzle Flavour Chocolate Digestives <laughs> and open? Yeah, so I've done about 780 reviews now at time recording. So um, yeah, if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Um, and I'll put a link to a playlist of all my other reviews in the top right hand corner to look. So uh, yeah, after you watch this one, go check those out and hopefully you enjoy those. <laughs> right, so we'll just check that there is 15 in here. Um, Yeah, a bit of a damaged one at the end, but looks to be 15. Let's have a quick check. 5, 10, 15. A bit of damage on that one, though. Yeah, so we are. So 15, not bad. One's damaged at the end, I think a bit of damage there, but uh, yeah, in the, in the strawberry cheesecake ones, I had um, one was just just damaged by default. You know, it just had, uh, well, been damaged from the start before. It's baked, had a big hole in the biscuit, basically. And you could tell it'd been baked after that point. Um, yeah, so. Mm, a bit of a lemony smell coming from them. Um, my basic um, you know, general takeaway from these biscuits is the flavour is quite subtle. It's not as strong as you might hope. Um, and the smell is quite lemony. It's quite a lemony smell. I mean, you know, it's yeah, it's basically a lemon smell. Um, so it says lemon drizzle. I imagine it's just going to have a bit of a lemon taste, really, this. don't think it's going to be too, anything too dramatic other than that. I mean, I don't think it'll have a taste of cake, for instance. But we'll see. You never know. Right, so we can see... Uh, Got a typical McVitie's look to it, the wheat sheaf on the top there, whatever it is. It says McVitie's original, got the holes in there as well. Don't have to aid baking. Let's give it a measure. Uh, roughly down the middle. I think they're about, let's see. Yeah, 6.7 now. I think that's probably about right based on the other one. I'll just measure it with the, uh, with the old style measuring stick. Let's say 6.7, let's say 6.68 it was. Yeah. Yeah, about that. Hmm. Yeah, it seems to be about. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, about six point seven. Okay, there we go. Looks a bit like from that angle that it's not right, but you can see it's uh, does go to the diameter there, the one. No, when I'm looking at it from above, <laughs> it's on the on the edge. But when you're looking at it there, yeah, there you go. Certain angles, it doesn't look quite right. But hmm. where I'm looking at it from, it does touch the edge. That start. <laughs> there you go. It's a bit better. Hmm. Yeah, it's about. Uh, yeah, it is about six point six, six point seven. Basically. Hmm. Okay. Right. All right. I assume it's pretty much the same. See, I'm sure it's slightly different than the other one, the uh, strawberry cheese one, but I think it was just the, probably the, due to the lip or something of the chocolate. Okay, the height of it, uh, yeah, about 0.7 millimetres. Well, 7 millimetres, <laughs> 0.7 centimetres. <laughs> there we go. About the same as it was for the uh, strawberry cheesecake ones. It's gone a bit up there. It just depends if you get like on the ridge of, you know, it's, it's not flat, is it? So it depends basically, but I think about 0.7 was about right. Yeah, it depends where you do. Yeah, it's about 0.7 roughly. Okay, right. So give a bit of a snap. Yeah, so there you go. So you can see, uh, hmm. Okay. Let's see what we're up against. Let's move this away a bit. If we'll get a bit of a... Focusing. There we go. Yeah, the chocolate's quite thin. You can see, it sort of goes over the edge. There's a bit of a lip over the edge, which makes it look thicker than it is. Um, well, it's quite thick in the middle. Yeah, it's probably not as thick as you'd think from the side, but it's not too too bad. Mm, yeah, especially with the uh, bottom one here. You can see it's quite. Big lip on the side. Not too, too bad. But mainly biscuit. <laughs> right, well, I think we should give it a taste. Let's do it. Let's give them a taste. <laughs> right, okay, let's give these, uh, yeah, McVitie's digestive, milk chocolate digestive, lemon drizzle, uh, milk chocolate digestives, <laughs> a taste. Um, so we've got a few, uh, well, 15 of them I've got down here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give one a go. So, it's not one in half before, so I think we'll nibble. Nibble this one, why not? Um, smells nice, as I say. So let's uh, give it a taste. Let's do it. Mm. Mm. 
Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Um, yeah. This has a lemony taste to it. Um, hmm. That's the gist of it, really. I mean, it's not, um, you know, it's basically just got a lemony taste to it. There's not really much more. You know, it's probably just as you'd expect it to be, really. It's okay. Um, mm. Obviously, the problem is you're not getting um, like a lemon drizzle cake. You get the moistness. You get the, uh, mm, you know, the, the sponge, the texture and things. You're not getting any of that with this. You're just getting, like, a taste of lemon. So it doesn't really work that well. Um, mm. But it's okay. I mean, it does, it does have a sort of taste of lemon drizzle, if that makes sense. But as I say, you're missing out on all the rest of it, the moistness, the texture, um, all those kind of things. Hmm. So it's kind of where it falls flat, really, unfortunately. The strawberry cheesecake one didn't really taste like cheesecake at all, but it had a sort of nice strawberry taste to it. Um, yeah, so, hmm. So, I don't know. This one, as I say, is just lemon, though, really. It's not really that great a taste. It's okay, but it's, um, hmm. I think lemon really is sort of needs to be backed up with texture um, and other things. You know what I mean? Whereas this one is just a flavour in a in a chocolate biscuit, um, so I think it kind of doesn't quite work as well. Um, which is a shame. But obviously, if you love lemon flavour, then I guess you know clearly this is going to be for you. But as far as being a representation of lemon drizzle is concerned, I don't think it's that successful really. Hmm. Hmm. It's definitely the chocolate's flavoured as well. I mean, I've mentioned before, it's on the on the packaging, it sort of mentions how it's the biscuit that's flavoured, and a few of them do this. I don't know why they do it, but it's clear the chocolate that's flavoured, um, for sure. You can just tell, you know, you don't even have to differentiate it, but as I say, I could try and bite a little bit of the biscuit. Hmm. Yeah. There's no lemon in that at all. <laughs> so you can see I nibbled a bit off there. Hmm. Yeah. 100% in the in the chocolate. So it's okay. I've got a um, nice trusty uh, cup of uh, warm coffee here. So um, yeah, let's have a seat. Give it a, give it a dunk. Hmm. Hmm. Most biscuits do taste better when dunked. Um, obviously, it's detracting a bit from the hmm, lemon taste in this case, being quite a strong coffee flavour. So maybe you would need tea or something. Um, Hmm. It softens the biscuit, melts the chocolate, but I think you do lose a bit of the point of it, which is the lemon when you've dunked this one. But it's not unpleasant, it's not worse for it really, but just don't get as much of the flavour. It's okay this one. Um, I guess if you're having a lemon tea and you dunk this one biscuit into it, it'd be, you know, be quite a nice combination of things if you're having a lemon, lemon drizzle cake. I just don't think it really works as a representation of the lemon drizzle cake. It's just got a lemon taste, you know, that's about it. So, hmm, I think it's okay. I think I'd probably rather have a regular chocolate digestive, really. Um, but it's not that much worse. It's just not that much better. <laughs> it's just about the same, just with a slight lemon taste. So I think it's probably a three out of five, I think. I mean, chocolate digestives are nice. Um, you know, I think a regular digestive is probably... I used to say a three out of five, but I think I'd probably say a two now. I think there's lots of better biscuits out there, and I think a, a, chocolate, a digestive is quite mundane, really. So I think... I probably would say that's the baseline of a 2 out of 5. So this one's a bit better than that. It's a 3 out of 5. Just a regular chocolate digestive. And I think, you know, they're probably the baseline for a 3 out of 5. And that's pretty much what this is. A 3 out of 5. Just an average chocolate biscuit. Um, quite nice, but nothing nothing that's going to blow your socks off. And the flavour doesn't really give you that much more. Um, I'd say, unless you're a real lemon lover, I don't think you're going to be too bothered about it. So, yeah. 3 out of 5. Okay, guys, so if you enjoyed that review, follow me on Instagram, you know the drill by now, I'm sure you do. Um, yes, check out the YouTube program, leave comments for free, always great to hear from you, it truly is. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll see you in this review. <laughs> Take care, everyone, bye for now. See ya.